not bad not bad we created our first pages life is great but you would have to agree with me that when it comes to any realistic application hard coding the page content in app js is probably not going to be very good on your health you'll just end up screaming at your computer so here's the thing we can also pass in component directly so path setup stays the same again whatever we we'll type over here will match in the url bar so if it's forward slash then it's home page if it's about hopefully you see where i'm going with this but when it comes to element we can pass here the component and therefore you'll find in the pages a bunch of components again the only reason why i set them up is just so we can save a little bit of time on setting up the boilerplate so for the most components you'll just find this section with the class name of suction so in here we just add a little bit of css and you can take a look at it in the index css and heading to with about so these are the pages that we will have in our project so here's what i want to do i want to go to app.js i want to import them all so for now just home about and product notice all of them are coming from the pages and as i know of course you don't have to name your folder pages it can be anything it can be banana pudding and also there's nothing special about these components they're straight up components the only difference is that now we will use them in the app.js and we'll pass them into the element prop and as a result whatever we have in the component will be the content of the page and yes in those components you can import another component which also is something we're going to do and as you can see as a result it's going to be easier to manage your application instead of hard coding everything in the app.js so let's try this one out where i want to go to app.js and i want to import three components and lastly if you want to set up here index.js if that is your preference or basically in the pages you import all of the components and then export them you can also do so but in my case i'll just go the long route where i'll say import then home and then that one is coming from and now i'm looking for the pages folder and more specifically home one let me copy and paste here let me just change a few things around where i want to go with a about one so let me select that one and we also want to go with the product so let's go here and let's say product and once we have all of the imports in place now let's keep the path forward slash again this is going to be for the home page but let's change it around for a testing one where i'll remove it first and i'll actually pass here the home component boom let's close it it's also necessary and check it out now we have that heading too let's copy and paste and let's just change it around where it's going to be about and this one will be product and when it comes to path in here we'll say about as well as product and again we can test it out if we navigate to url and then if we go with forward slash about check it out now we have about page now you can probably already guess that if i'm going to go to products we'll navigate to the products page so that's how we can set up our page content as components again we set up most likely a folder since there's going to be multiple pages and we just set up straight up components there's nothing special about them they're straight up components the only one that has more info in here is the login one but we'll talk about this one a little bit later once we actually get there and whatever you set up over here whether that's a bunch of other components coming from other folders and all that will be the content of the page and as a result it's easier to manage your entire application